cool. Do you think I look like that? He brought it over because it's like comparison. You're watching Cal and Dior. Yay! Hi guys, so don't mind my hair. I'm not to that point yet of readiness. I have mentioned to you guys that we are planning on going to EDC this year in Las Vegas and raving is something that we do a Occasionally, we went to, I believe, one last year, and then the year before that, we went to one. I go all out. I have a few outfits planned, but I wanted to unbox this outfit with you. This should be amazing. It's by a company called Electric Laundry that I have used before. Um, my Alice in Wonderland costume was by them. It was absolutely beautiful. I did have a couple problems with the customer, not, I wouldn't say problems, but like the customer service is a tad bit rude. These outfits are between like one and $300, I would say. I feel like the customer service isn't very like, when you wanna be involved in the process, they kinda of don't. I know they want like creative freedom, but at the same time, you're spending such a hefty amount on an outfit. You wanna be a part of the process and see pictures and like be able to change things that you don't like. And they're not, they, they'll do it, but they're not very happy about it. Other than that, um, one of the outfits that I ordered was so unlike what I wanted, I actually told them that I wasn't going to take it and I felt very bad about that. Um, but the Alice one I was absolutely in love with and the customer service even though it isn't they're nice like don't get me wrong but i just kind of didn't i kind of got the vibe that i was like bugging them when i was like hey can you send more pictures can you send what it looks like after this can't wait to open this up these are even more beautiful in person i will link you guys to their instagram and even if they were the meanest person in the world honestly their designs are so beautiful and there's nothing like them honestly i've scoured and scoured and hi. scoured hi hi so Let's see. Yay. Already I see sparkles. Hey, use that. Okay, so these must be the shoulder pads. I'm not sure how they connect. Wait, let's see. Oh my God, already. Thank you, hello. Hi, Gaga. So these are the shoulder pads. He's part of this unboxing. Oh my god, you guys, look at this. I will not look at that, but I will put it down here so Tice can't get it. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, it's stuck. Okay, let's see. OMG. Okay, so this is the choker, and it has like a chain. It's like a little, like, longer bralette. Oh my god. You guys. The detail in these are in freaking insane, and I will try it on for you guys later in this vlog, but oh my god, look at the detailing on this, and tell me that this is not dope as hell. Look at this. And then it goes on choker style. Ah. This obviously is part of ah. the back. Whoa. Oh my god. Like, I'm living. Whoa. Let me tell you, a lot of these girls rave almost naked, if not naked, with pasties and yeah. So this is a lot of coverage. I got, um, I'll wear shorts with this. This I wanted it a little bit longer, which it is, and that's amazing to give like a little bit more coverage. It's a pretty big, it's not just like a teeny little bra, you know? It is still obviously like bra style. And then I got a garter belt, which has just to give the stomach some coverage. And then I asked for fabric on the sides. Let's see if I can get a shot. I'm gonna put it like this. Let me know what you guys think. I like the style of the belt, but I'm kind of not liking these. These, these look kind of cheap to me, and I'm not really liking it for the price that I paid. I'm not in love. I do like it on the sides like that maybe, but I just think the front, I just don't like it. I, I um, had a different 
Like I had a tutu that was like out of control amazing with like pearls and bows and it was so adorable. So to me this isn't, I'm not in love with it. It's cute, but I'm not in love with it. So I don't really know how I feel about this. Cute, you think it's cute? So this is the top. Don't mind that I'm still kind of out of shape. I have until June. This is what it looks like. Oh, these go around. Okay. Pretty sure this way. Okay, let's see. Like I am honestly living and breathing. It's a little. Oh, why? It's a yeah. Little, I'm living and breathing for this. I feel like Lady Gaga. And you guys may think this is out of control, but for a rave, this is like so the norm. Obviously, it'll look better with my makeup done and everything, but I'm honestly may figure out how to get this up just a little bit more. Oh yeah, duh. Just like I'll put the straps up so it's not so busty. But I am living, breathing, dying, coming back to love for this top. Like even without the shoulder pads, it would be so freaking cute. But look at all the Gaga vibes. Like I can't. So you guys may think this is a bit ridiculous. And though it may be, EDC is like our one time away from the kids and kind of just do our own thing. It's, if you, it feels like a different world, honestly, it really does. I feel like the crystals and everything could be a little bit of a better quality, but I think like these are stunning. Like this is stunning. These, I don't like the color of like the iridescentness. I should because it's like a unicorn, but you know, I, I'm, I'm not obsessed. But last time I told them that, that I wanted only the clear crystals like this, they sent these anyway, so I figured I wouldn't be picky. I'm really kind of not happy. Compared to the other tutu I have, this isn't very like, this is kind of like I could have, it's not weird. It's kind of like I could have done it myself. You know, which I don't have the time, that's why I pay for it. Not obsessed. I'm I'm not obsessed with it. I like the fabric, I just don't like this. Why? It looks kind of cheapy to me. This could have looked a little bit more expensive. I mean, I paid a couple hundred bucks for this. So for a couple hundred bucks, I feel like it should be better quality, but it's beautiful. I don't know. You guys know me and I'm very, very honest about, you know, whatever. process works for them if you are interested in this. If not, if you're just one of my regular mommy vloggers that doesn't care about EDC or raving or outfits or anything like that, just fast forward. The way that the process works is you contact them and you send them email, send them an email, send them pictures of things that you like, things that you're inspired by by them, and they will take what you like and translate it into their own work of art, which I, as a musician, former musician, yeah. as a makeup artist, it's the same thing, you translate the work as best you can, but with that being said, it's kind of a toss up. Like I said, there was something that I just said, they sent me pictures of and I was not happy with that at all. I didn't want to pay almost $300 for it, so I apologized, but I said, you know, it just wasn't for me, and that I would take the other one. And then they just kind of make it, they'll send you the pictures and then, they'll ask you for your shipping address. So at that time, I think that's where you can kind of like assess what you want to change. But like I said, I felt like I was bothering them. Um, I feel like they were unhappy with me, you know, which I understand as an artist because as a makeup artist, I would be like, really, you're still unhappy, you're still unhappy. But at the end of the day, they're, I'm normally working with brides and I will wash their face off completely and redo it because of the amount of money that they're paying me and these are expensive. They've made things for Paris Hilton for a lot of famous people and I'm not gonna lie, their designs are absolutely stunning and that's why I continue to use them even if I'm not always 100% satisfied. But, you know, at this point, see, this is the thing. Is I have a garter belt that I'm not 100% satisfied with, 
And like, I feel like, do I call, contact the company and let them know, like, what are they no. gonna say? You know, like, am I just gonna be a bother? So I'm not sure. I'll probably like have to pay back shipping and all of that stuff, or like, and it's like, oh, I don't wanna have to go through all that. So I just take it and suck it up. So that's called Electric Laundry. Um, another company is, what is it called? I cannot remember the name, but I'm gonna insert it here because I'm gonna look. Um, they have beautiful designs also. They are a bit pricey. I bought something from them, a Barbie um, leotard kind of thing that I'm gonna wear. I was looking at like a pair of shorts for like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Like honestly, it's like, they're expensive. But at the same time, it's like, you know, some people are willing to shell out that money and like reuse them. Like I will reuse my Alice corset and outfit that I got, I will reuse it um, at EDC. That will be one of my days of outfits. It's gonna be three days. So I have that outfit, the Alice outfit, and then I think I'm gonna wear the Barbie leotard um, with like some fluffies and stuff. Something I also wanted to address is people associate rave and EDC with drug usage and I can 100% tell you guys because you guys know me I don't use drugs while I'm there I don't use drugs recreationally ever not even weed I just don't I just don't like I'm just so paranoid even if I wanted to I wouldn't because I'd be crying in the corner with a bad trip because that's me anxiety girl I have never been somewhere where people are so accepting and like you walk by and like you think you feel insecure or whatever and then they'll be like oh my god where'd you get that where'd you get that like oh my god you're so cute you're so beautiful you make a million friends and there's honestly nothing like it and I can't wait to share that experience with you guys this is our life if you have any questions or video requests please leave them in the box below Thanks for watching. Subscribe.